So it's been exactly three years since we built this zip line, and I'm happy to say that the stainless steel cable has held up great. Uh, no rust. It's still in shiny mint condition the same way it was when we put it in. And the platform in back of me, we built that thing out of pressure treated lumber, and it's still holding up extremely well as well. The only problem with the zip line is that it's actually a pretty boring zip line. So back behind the hill back there, we're going to build a new one today and document the whole thing. So three years ago when we built the old zip line, the problem that we had was that all of the online zip line outfitters were not really very impressive. So what I did is went out and bought all of my gear piece by piece from different places. But luckily now there's a place called ziplinegear.com and they are the first zipline company to really set up a good website that basically has turnkey zipline kits. And that's what we have here. So we have two things. I got the line tensioning kit that we're going to get into later, and this is going to be a lifesaver. And then we have their Quicksilver kit. And what's cool about the Quicksilver kit is that we've got new toys to play with. So we've got the handlebar trolley, we've got the hanging handlebars, and we've also got the wooden seat, all of which should be pretty cool. And when all the stuff came delivered from ziplinegear.com, it was awesome. It came in a fantastic package. It was really neat. These guys did an A-class job. So our new zipline here is going to go from the tree all the way in the back there. We need to do some clearing all the way down across that ravine and up to this tree right here. So our next task is to pull the line out the whole distance between here and the top of the zip line. And now that we have the line laid out, the next task is to put the harnesses around the tree. So we're starting with the prefabricated harness that we got from ziplinegear.com. It came with the kit. And we're also using our wooden blocks. These are the same kind of blocks that we use with the old zip line. It just keeps it so that the line does not dig into the tree. And so now we attach the turnbuckle to the harness, one end of it at least. And now we go ahead and attach uh, the looped end of the galvanized line to the end of the turnbuckle. So now we're up at the top of the zip line where it starts. And the next goal is to take our line that we've dragged all the way up here and connect the other end to this tree. Now we're attaching the tensioning device to the little sling. All right, so we're connecting our little uh, cable hook there. All right, so we've got that attached to the cable. And now in theory, we can just ratchet this thing up. Okay, we got everything kind of hooked up, so our next plan here is to actually uh, permanently attach the line. So we wrap it around the tree and then our, attach our three little U-bolts. Uh, Okay, so we've got uh, this thing secured up there. Now we need to simply undo our tension on our cable puller, and then we'll see how the line goes and we'll be ready for a test run. Okay, so we're about to take the first run down the line. I might get killed. Um, I'm gonna go really slow just to check uh, the slope and the speed and the sag and uh, make sure the tree doesn't break and all that, but we'll see how well I can break because this is a challenge. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty high up. Not too bad. Huh, we may not have the sag I thought we were gonna have in this line. Yeah, that's high up. That is gonna be a problem at the end. Our next test run did not really work all that well. Uh, we were still going way too fast, even after we took out some slack in the line. And we basically decided that our end tree, we really put that line on too low. So our next plan is to go ahead and raise that up about two feet, and that will probably take care of the speed problem. Got it? Yeah. Oh, gosh, I 
had to put that bolt in my pocket. Where your pocket is in? I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is like my, I don't know, what, third or fourth something attempt down the line. Uh, we raised the other end up. We did not adjust the tension whatsoever. So, we're just going to see what happens with that extra two feet of height on the other end. And I think I'm still going to end up crashing into the other end. So, we'll see what happens. Woohoo! Whoa! That isn't bad. All right, so that run was pretty successful. So our plan now is to uh, put the braking system on and see if that works. Because even though I was able to stop with uh, my handbrake using the gloves, uh, using any of these other uh, handlebars and seats and things, I think you'd be going full speed into the tree. So now we got our block and it's been uh, tied up to our bungee and we're attempting to tie the other end of the bungee to the tree. So my team is having some doubts about this braking system and so am I, a little afraid to try it because um, we're not sure exactly how this is going to work, but we're actually going to try tying it off to this uh, deciduous persimmon instead, instead of the dead tree. And uh, well, in theory, once we get some tension on there, Hopefully that'll stop me before I hit that tree at about 20 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to attempt to have the bravery to do this at full speed. And I'm not thrilled about it. But here we go. Oh, she's, she's fucking fast, man. Whoa, shit. <laughs> okay. That was terrifying, full speed, almost. I had to brake at the end because I knew I was going to hit that way too hard. But uh, I think with a little bit of tweaking, we got it. I'm too afraid to really do that again at full speed, so Michael's going to go and uh, see what he thinks. <laughs> see ya. It just slingshot you back. Michael is getting ready to do the handlebars for the first time. We've got the safety lanyard on with that, and here he goes. Whoa! Okay. Hey, the brakes are shorter. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. See you back top. So how was that one? It is completely scary when you get close to that break and you're still wondering whether it's going to work. But I never touched the tree. Well, that's good. So it actually worked pretty well. All right, well, it's, uh, it's about 5.30 in the evening and we've uh, kind of started to lose our sunlight, so we're calling it a, uh, a day on this. But as you can tell, the zip line pretty much works, but I think we've got a little bit too much height on the far end, so we're getting a little bit too much speed to do some of the little toys we got. The green trolley seems to work for the most part. Uh, the regular way works. We weren't uh, able to do the wooden seat because that would put us too low and we'd be spinning and all sorts of bad things might happen to us. So. Basically, later on, I'll just probably have to lower the high end of the zip line a little bit and retension it uh, to try to slow things down. But uh, overall, it worked, and uh, I'm very happy with all the gear that we got from uh, ziplinegear.com. Uh, everything they sent us uh, works great. So uh, hopefully, this video was useful.